Hi, this is Trenton Bricken. Uh, I'm going to answer some questions about my senior thesis work in the statistics department. Uh, first question is, did I do research before this thesis? Yes, uh, I started doing research sophomore summer in the Michael Lynch lab at Duke doing synthetic biology, uh, particularly uh, machine learning for CRISPR guide RNA design. Um, I continued that project junior year through independent studies. And then junior summer, I started working in Dr. Deborah Marx's lab at Harvard Medical School, um, where I did machine learning for protein design. Um, kind of a nice segue into question two, where I really enjoyed my time in the Marx lab. They liked having me there. And so I was given the opportunity to do my senior thesis with the lab. Um, and I'm a program two student, so it was, it was a little bit funny getting everything to work out. Um, but I basically had my program, I had the support of my program two advisor and Dr. David Banks in the statistics department, who I've gotten to know quite well, uh, support me working with Dr. Marks at Harvard Medical School for my senior thesis. Um, so that looked like having pretty regular calls with them, communicating with them frequently over Slack through the lab Slack channel, also keeping Dr. Banks in the loop as my Duke statistics mentor. Um, as for the topic, uh, I did some work this summer on protein design uh, using neural networks to generate de novo proteins. Um, and we were really interested in exploring that space more. Uh, and so I started looking at the literature and talking to people and thinking about what would be valuable in that space. Uh, read a number of papers, um, came across an idea that I was interested in integrating into protein design around variational inference uh, and invertible neural networks and so decided that's what I would work on. Um, amount of time I put into the thesis and when did I do the work? Um, because it was all very independent, uh, it was really to hit specific meeting deadlines um, with the Marks Lab. Um, I think with most coding projects or, I don't know, really intense ones, at least for me, I'll work for a long period of time uh, without doing much else. So it was, it was quite a bit over weekends. I got a lot done over Christmas break as well. Uh, yeah, it, it was nice having the flexibility to do it when I needed to without having assignments or things. Um, any special considerations for students in program two? Um, not really. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. It was quite a bit of paperwork, but it was pr pretty straightforward to get all this approved by the statistics department and they were very supportive and um, Joan in particular was really supportive and helping me conduct the thesis defense and everything else. Um, any strategies for success? Work on something that you're really interested in and that even if it fails, you'll be glad that you tried to do it. Um, I didn't get the results that I was hoping to get with my thesis, but I think I learned a bunch of useful techniques um, and was working on a problem that I think matters a lot and even since doing the thesis, when I'm now recording this, uh, the discussion with my mentor's thesis committee um, led to a new idea that I'm now pursuing and I think might work quite well. So, uh, yeah, work on something that you really care about and you're interested in. Um, would I do it again? Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, and what did I get out of it? Uh, I learned lots of things that should apply to my research in the future. Um, it was also very interesting, I think, just learning how to do research. Um, at this point, I kind of see research as like you're in the jungle and you're hunting a tiger and you have a rifle with like very few bullets. And so the, the tiger is obviously like ground truth that you're trying to hunt and it's incredibly hard to hunt it. And I think something that's easy to forget is that both with your senior thesis and just in general, you have very finite time and there are way too many questions to be asking and ways to approach the problem. And so you have to be really strategic in how you go about trying to answer it and the things that you try uh, and when you try them and writing really clean code so that you don't run into bugs and making sure you have a really solid understanding of everything that you're doing so you don't try silly things that in hindsight never would have worked. Um, that's all. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.